Okay, good afternoon, my crafty friends. How are you today? Well, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, it is Wednesday, it's hump day. The, um, well, you know what? The sun was out a second ago. It's still kind of bright. You can just kind of see it coming in um, over, there's a little bit of light over here where my window is. So you can just kind of see a little bit of light. A minute ago, it was dark, but you know, then the sun came out. So anyways, that's good because I like the sun um, because, you know, it's been kind of a rainy week. So although the weekend looks absolutely amazing. It's going to be what, 18, 19 degrees Celsius. So wow, it'll be a nice break. Uh, okay, so what do I have today? First of all, let me see if I can get this to come up on my iPad. So again, I always have issues with this, right? Oh, there I am. Okay, all right. Wow, wonders will never cease, eh? And okay. So hello, Shirley. Oh, Maureen says good evening because she's down in Newfoundland. Uh, it's still afternoon here. <laughs> Don't rush things, eh? So how are you, Maureen? I hope you're doing well. Jean, hi, thanks very much for joining. Shirley, thanks very much for joining. All right, okay. So the only thing I have today uh, and um, is about the starter kit. Again, the offer is until October 31st. So it is uh, $135. Normally you get to pick $165 worth of product. And again, the great thing is you get to pick what you want. Uh, Stampin' Up! does not uh, dictate and say, okay, here, this is what you get in your starter kit, as so many direct sales companies do. Uh, but Stampin' Up! lets you pick what you want. So like I said, normally it's $135, no tax, no shipping, at least in Ontario. Uh, and you get to pick $206 worth of product, okay? So included in that $206, you also will get uh, a free paper pumpkin. So that is a $30 value. So basically, um, and with no tax and no shipping, you're looking at a $290 value that you can get for $135. And you'll get a 20% discount for a minimum of six months once you join or a minimum of five months, I forget what it is now, uh, you'll get a 20% discount on anything that you want to purchase from Stampin' Up! So why would you not want to join? Anyways, okay, enough about that. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so uh, Maureen says she's doing great. That's wonderful. And I'm doing well too. My COVID has finally pretty much left. So I'm pretty excited about that because, oh man, that was almost four weeks I've dragged on. <clears throat> So anyways, uh, I have just a little bit <clears throat> left, um, but that's it. So that's not too bad. All right, I'm going to turn the camera down and we will get started playing with some stuff. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out here. Well, let's, uh, no, I don't know. Just have to move this over here. Move that down there. Tighten that and hope that we're pretty good here. Oh, I need to change the angle. There it is. You didn't want to look at my ceiling light, eh? I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but okay. All right. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put some lights on here. Maybe. Okay. And this one. Okay. That's a little bit better. Okay. All right. So today I'm going to be playing with the Jingle 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 stamp set. Uh, so that can be found on page 26 of the mini catalog of the, what are we in? July to December uh, mini catalog. Okay. So this is the stamp set. There are no dies or anything to go with this. No punches, nothing, just the stamp set. Um, Okay, so now I see this. See, I have this here to remind me that my name, I need to introduce myself. <laughs> so my name is Judy Menlove, and I am Judy's Paper Crafts.stampinup.net. Okay, so, all right, back to this. So this is a photopolymer stamp because it also has a lot of um, two-step stamping. Okay, so you have Jolly, Tis the Season to be Jolly, Believe in the magic and jingle all the way. And these cute little um, candy canes 
and little bells. Actually, it looks more like an ornament, but I think it's supposed to be a bell. And uh, some little lights. And this little thing here colors in the lights and star. All right, so we're going to be playing with that today. Okay, so this is the card we're going to make. I have to keep remembering to move up a little bit here, so I will. There, I think that's okay. The more I move it up, there, that's a little bit better. Hang on, I'm still trying to get the hang of this here. Okay, all right. So um, let's go ahead and just do this, all right? So we have here all these little pieces. So we're going to start with a um, thick, basic white cardstock uh, base. And it, again, it is cut at the normal size, which is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Okay. I cut all the pieces because I have a couple of other cards here. If I have time, I will um, show you those as well. All right. So... Then this is a piece of uh, Shaded Spruce, and I used the Whimsical Woodland Embossing Folder, okay? Now this is a kind of a weird embossing folder because all our embossing folders go like this, okay? So you, you put it in and this is the top, but this one's kind of sideways. So you have to, if you want your card to be whatever this is, portrait, uh, then you have to put your cardstock in that way, okay? And then you'll still feed it in. And again, uh, you're, when you feed it in to the whatever machine you're using, make sure you feed the fold in first, okay? All right, so that's what I use for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and then I cut the paper I'm using today is from Santa Express. Um, I'm not going to go through it all because I've just basically used some scraps, okay? So I've cut two of these. They're both one inches. Again, they're just little pieces from the uh, Santa Express DSP. One is five inches and one is four inches. So I'm just going to put it over here. And then I have this Banners Punch, okay? It will punch out this way or it'll punch out like a flag. So I'm just going to punch them out so it will look like a flag. So you just push that in there. Oh, I should tell you. So if you can use a half an inch piece of paper, a three quarter inch or one inch. That's why there's all these little um, grooves here, okay? So today we're using the one inch. And we're just going to feed it in. And you can see it at the back. It's going to cut like that. All right. And, oh. and then we're going to do the same with this piece. We'll just feed that in. And cut that. And I don't know where that little piece went. And I just lost that piece too. Oh, here we go. All right. So I'm just going to glue this. Well, you know, I think I'm just going to glue this on now. And, you know, I was looking at this earlier and I'm thinking, you know what? It's kind of hard to tell. This is the deboss side, which means it's all indented. And this is the embossed side, which means it's raised. And I kind of like both sides. Um... Anyways, I think I'm just going to go with the regular embossed and we'll put the glue on the debossed side. But you could use um, either one. Both are very pretty. And we'll just put some glue on here. And I want to make sure it's not upside down. And this layer is um, basically just an eighth of an inch smaller. So it would be four and an eighth by five and three quarters, not three quarters, five and three eighths. No, five and. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Jean says she doesn't remember seeing that punch before. Yes, Jean, I double-checked before I used it to make sure it was still current, and it is. Uh, it's in the annual catalog, and it's called um, select, a, select a Banner Punch or something. Um, okay, again, let me just think. This is uh, four and a quarter by five, and oh my God, I can't think of what that little line is there. Not, anyways, it's an eighth of an inch smaller than uh, five and a half. Whatever that may be today, my brain is not working very well. Okay, so, and we're just gonna glue this on. I'm just gonna glue it right to the top of the green. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I may get off camera, so please tell me. If I do, I will see it in the comments eventually. It's hard to see, it's hard to do what you're doing and keep an eye on the comments. So um, if I miss it, I do apologize. I do go back at the end and see if I've missed anything. And we're just gonna adhere that with the glue. And I like this little one that says fa la 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 la. And I'm just going to put that on top a little bit, on top of that one. And there is that. Okay. So now I have a piece of, this is Poppy Parade. And it is um, three, I don't know where I'm going to put this. Let me move this over here. It is three and six eighths by two and seven sixteenths. I know they're weird sizes. And this is shaded spruce, and that is three and five eighths by two and five sixteenths. And the reason these are weird sizes is because I cut the white piece with the deckled rectangles. If you remember last week, I told you how much I love these deckled rectangles. And I used um, the fourth largest size. Okay, the fourth largest size or the fifth smallest size, however you want to look at it. Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping. There's lots of stamping on this card. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with Shade of Spruce. I've already, re I've already cut everything, so... Um, you don't have to watch me do all that. Okay. So this is jolly. So I'm going to, st I'm going to have to go off camera probably because I'm going to have to, when I want to line this up, I'm going to have to pull it closer. Jolly. And then this is the outline. You could do this in a different color if you wanted. And I, hang on, I'm sorry, I have to go off. No, let me see. I don't really want to do that, so, but I'm going to have to. So you're just going to have to line it up. Let me just see if I can move this. Mm. There, how's that? That better? Maybe? Okay. All right. So we're just going to try and line that up as best we can. I've done this a few times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just kind of go with the flow. No, that turned out not too bad. All right. And I'm stretching over here to um, get the ink off my stamps. So I apologize for my arm. Okay. Now we're going to use the tis the season to be and we're going to stamp that in the poppy parade ink and i have that somewhere tis the season to be all right now we'll just stamp that like that okay i'll just wipe that off again I could move that, but honest to God, my table is full, so I don't have anywhere to move it to. <laughs> and then we have these cute little lights, and I'm just going to ink them up in the Memento 
tuxedo black. And we're just going to stamp that kind of in the middle here. Oh, that one didn't look like it got any on it. There we go. Yeah, perfect. I like it when things work out. And yeah, we'll just do that one too. Actually, I can probably move this over here now. Then my arm's not always going over there. Okay, so then I took the blends. Now, you could use... Sorry, I'm looking for my stamp set. You could use this little guy here. Okay, and stamp the light with that. But I just chose to color it with the blends instead. So I've got Dark Poppy Parade. And we're just going to color that. I'm not doing any shading or highlighting or anything. I'm just coloring it. So this is a Dark Poppy Parade. Do two of those, and then I'm going to do the dark shade of spruce. All right, so we're just gonna give that a quick color. And the last one. Okay, now I want to take my Wink of Stella and we're just going to color these, give them a little bit of glitter. I'm going to do all the green ones first because sometimes with the red, uh, the brush will pick up the red. So I'm just going to do the green first. And then I will go and do the red. It doesn't seem to pick up the green. It just seems to pick up the reds for whatever reason. And I'll just brush that off to make sure I got rid of all the red. Okay. So now where are my pieces? Here they are. Okay, so we're just going to glue these. These are pretty simple cards. Um... There's nothing too exciting about them, but I quite like them. They are, they may be a little bit time consuming because you have to cut all the pieces, but other than that, so I've just got a little bit of the uh, Poppy Parade showing. And then we'll just glue this on. like so and then I'm going to use some dimensionals and pop it up so you can see how quickly this card comes together so it looks like I might have time to do another one for you guys won't that be exciting eh I know I like to use lots of dimensionals And I get to pull them all off. Pull all the backings off, that is. Oh, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little time consuming pulling the box off. All right. And then we're just going to stick it up at the top, towards the top anyways. Put that down. And then I have some red rhinestone basic jewels. 
And where's my little thing? Here he is. I take a pick tool. And we'll just put a couple down here. And one up here. And that is that card. So again, you can see it was fairly easy, but I already had all the pieces cut out. But again, you know, you just need this, run it through the embossing folder, and then three little pieces and a couple of strips. So again, pretty easy. Okay, so the next one I have is also easy. If I can find my stuff. Here we go. Okay. So this is also from the uh, Santa's uh, Santa Express DSP. This is cute little paper. Okay. So this is um, mint macaron and puffy parade, and then this piece of. Jean says, I'm keeping Stampin' Up! in business with all the dimensionals I use. Yeah, it's probably, I know. Even Maureen says, do I ever? Yes, I know. I can't help it because, you know what, when I first started to um, do cards, uh, now mind you, I wasn't using Stampin' Up! products at the time when I first started, got into card making. And I found that if you didn't use a lot, down the road, they fell off. So I like to make sure everything is really adhered well. So, all right. So we have a piece of white that's two by four. Just whatever scrap you have, it's just uh, basic white. And a piece of Poppy Parade that is an eighth of an inch bigger than the white. So that would be two and an eighth by four and an eighth. Okay, let's put that over there. And okay, let's just get all this together. So again, you've got your uh, base card, uh, eight and a half, score to four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is just um, an eighth of an inch smaller, whatever the whatever those dimensions are. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys can post it because for the life of me, I can't figure it out. You know, sometimes you just draw blanks, right? So we're just gonna glue this on to the mint macaron. And then we're just gonna glue this one on. Again, it's just DSP, but I kind of like the ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho! It's gonna be here before we know what happened. God, it's barely two, just over two months away. Gotta get through Halloween first. Okay, <clears throat> so I am going to stamp Believe, Believe in the Magic. Okay, so we're going to stamp this in Soft Succulent. Yes, this was Mint Macaron, but we're going to stamp it in Soft Succulent. Oh, that's why it didn't quite match the same. Oh, I, no, I don't know what I was doing. Anyways, whatever. Four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Thank you, Maureen. I don't know why I couldn't because that three eighths just didn't sound right. It just sounded, it still sounds too small, but I guess that's right. One eighth. Yeah. So that's right. So it's the layer, uh, the first layer is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Hi, Rose. Thanks for joining. Okay, so we're stamping this in the uh, soft succulent. I thought it was mint macaron, but it's not, <laughs> which is fine. And I'm just gonna move this over here like that. And just wipe my stamp off. And then we're gonna use the outline. And I hope I'm still, I can still see okay. And again, I need to pull this closer, but so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm just gonna leave it there. Not too bad. 
I'm just going to wipe my stamp off there quickly. Okay. Now I have... Um, okay, where are my little lights? I'm going to put my little lights in a little scrap piece of paper. <clears throat> oh, this will do. I'm going to uh, probably stamp off a little bit. So I want to make sure I don't want to stamp on my mat. So I'm looking for some black ink. Here it is. <laughs> and I can't be the only one that does that. This that, you know, is staring right in front of me and I can never find it. I think I need to re-ink this. Okay, and we're just going to kind of hang this off a little bit at the edge there. Like that. Okay. And then I need In the Magic. Believe in the magic. And we're going to stamp that in Poppy Parade. And this is uh, crooked, as you can see, but that's the way the stamp is. So if you like things to be absolutely perfect, you don't want to buy this because it is... No, that's not the right one. Good thing I noticed that. This says all the way. That's for the jingle one. That's not... Oh, I caught myself just in time, eh? Um, here we go. In the magic. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, mistakes happen and this happens. So let me just cut another piece and we'll try this again. So just bear with me. Two by four. I need to cut a two by four piece. Okay. So four. By two. All right, so let's try this again, shall we? All right, where's my belief? All right, let me get my soft succulent out again. And we will stamp this again. Like so. And then we'll do the outline. Oh, Jean, you wouldn't be laughing if it happened to you now, would you? <laughs> okay. And I don't know. That looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. All right, let's try this again. If at first you don't succeed, uh, I want the lights again. Here they are. And we'll go back with this scrap piece of paper. And we'll just kind of, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. And let's make sure we can hang on to it this time. Eh? Okay. Believe in the magic. I always feel like that old, um, that old movie, you know, that when Natalie Wood, when she was in that Miracle on 34th Street. I believe, I believe, I believe. I still believe. <laughs> I still believe. All right. Let me just wipe this red off because it just stains like crazy. 
Okay, so now I have somewhere this little Santa hat. And I'm just going to ink him up in the black and just hang him off the little B here. So now you can see that. So what I did earlier <laughs> was I stamped a piece, um, I stamped this stamp on a piece of scrap paper and just cut out <laughs> this little part here. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue that on just so it and I'm going to use my tweezers. And yes, it goes this way. Ugh. Okay, there we go. And I meant to color the hat before I put that on, but I didn't, so we will color it now anyways. And we're gonna color that in the dark, bleh, dark Poppy Parade. It would have been better if we had done it before. We put that extra piece on, but we didn't, so we just have to go slow. There we go. Perfect. Well, as perfect as it's going to get. <clears throat> oh, I have to color the lights. I forgot about the lights. So we're going to also color them in the dark poppy parade. I kind of went outside the line on that one. My brush is not very good. It's kind of frayed here. I should probably use the other end, but maybe I will. Maybe it will work better. Kind of went outside the lines on all of them. Okay, and then I've got the dark uh, mint macaron I'm going to use. And we'll just color those lights in. And the Wink of Stella. We need the Wink of Stella. Speaking of Stella, I have the grand puppy here again, and her name is Stella. So yes, my son is still in Italy having a wonderful time. I keep posting pictures. They were on a cruise for a week, and they spent a few days anyway on some tours. But anyway, they come home on uh, Thursday night late, apparently, so... Hopefully by Friday, we will get rid of the dog. Uh, Jean said, is that just a small piece of white cardstock? This, yes. Oh, what? Th this piece here is two by four right here. Two by four. Can you see that? No, you can't even see that. Is that better? The white piece is two by four, and the red piece is two and an eighth by four and an eighth. Is that what you were asking, Jean? If not, just say no and tell me what you were asking. Okay. All right, so we're just going to glue this on. On the hat, yeah. It was just a scrap piece of paper, Jean. I just scrapped, scrapped. I stamped the hat on a scrap piece of paper and just cut out that little um whatever you call that trim rim whatever that thing's called 
I just cut that out. I didn't use anything else, just the um, just that little tiny piece. And I kept screwing it up, which is why I decided that I would um, cut it all and have it ready before I went on camera because it just, uh, <laughs> I just kept cutting it wrong. Oh, yes, and I wanted to do his hat as well. Just, I like the, you know, I wink of Stella. I like the wink of Stella. What can I say? And we'll do the red too. There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to pop this up with my 55 dimensionals I'm going to use. <laughs> All right, I'll try and use less. But it's hard for me. Okay, put one there. And then I have to put some in the middle because if you don't put them in the middle, then they get squished in the middle. Okay, is that better? I didn't use quite as many. Still a lot, but not as many. Okay, and then you can just put this wherever you want. And I'll just put it about there. Does that look straight? Yeah, not bad. Okay, and there is card number two. Okay, want one more? This one's almost the same as the other one. So I just wanted to show you that you can do make a whole bunch of cards using basically the same stuff. I'm just going to whip through this one. So again, this is one by five. And the other one is one by four. See, if I do these, then I now I have, look at that, see? If I finish this one, I have six Christmas cards made. <laughs> okay, because I made them all before I went on camera, that's why. To see how it would look. I'm not very good at improvising. So, again, I use the embossing folder. So, again, it's pretty much the same as the other first one I did. And now we're just going to glue this strip on. I'm just going to put that up to the top of the green piece. Again, a shaded spruce. Move that over a little bit. It's crooked. There we go. And then we'll just add this one on. La 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 I guess I'll be playing Christmas music in the mall soon, eh? Okay, just a minute. On the hat, but it's a smaller piece. What does that mean? I wanted to get the black outline. Okay, Maureen, I'm not sure what you're saying, but it's a smaller piece, LOL. You, one of you guys are going to, Maureen or Jean, you're going to have to explain to me what, what it is you're kind of talking about because I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, so we've got this piece of deckled paper again. And this one is going to be jingle all the way. So I didn't have enough blocks, if you can believe it. I have tons of blocks, but I didn't have enough. Actually, I think I'm going to use this one instead. So that will be Jingle. And we'll pull this one off. And 
You put dimension as on a smaller piece of paper. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. So I like my dimensionals. You're right, it was smaller. Well, actually, no, it was bigger. See? Oh, yeah, all right, it was smaller. Okay, you guys win. I like dimensionals. What can I say? I'm not going to try and justify myself anymore. Um, okay, now you got me all confused. All right, I'm going to stamp this one in the shade of spruce. Here it is here. Oh, it would help if I opened it the right way. Oh, thank you, Maureen. <laughs> Maureen loves me anyway. Okay. So, because we're going to go jingle all the way, we're going to put the jingle towards the top. And I'm going to actually stamp this one, the outline in the Poppy Parade. Just so you can kind of see what it looks like with a different color surrounding it. Okay, let's try and line this up here. There we go. Well, that turned out pretty good. Pretty good if I do say so myself. So that's what it looks like with the uh, red and the green rather than uh, one color. Okay, what am I doing now? Uh, we need jingle all the way. So we're going to stamp all the way in red in the Poppy Parade. It's not red, it's Poppy Parade. It's a very, this Poppy Parade is a very nice um, red. Whoops. It's got a bit a bit more orange in it than the real red. So it's quite nice. It's just a little bit softer too than the real red. Okay, so that's pretty much that. And then we're just gonna glue it together. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I wanna glue this on. We're gonna glue that onto the red piece. And then we will glue this on to the shaded spruce one. And again, this one was cut out with the uh, deco rectangles as well, same size. I says pretty much the same card. I think my jingle might be a little bit crooked, but that's okay. And then I have these cute little uh, flat jingle bell trinkets. So they're just like little brass. You can see that okay? It's kind of dull. I moved the light over. Oh, well. Okay. That's as good as I can get it. All right, I'm just gonna put that on <laughs> with six glue dots. No, I'm only kidding, just one glue dot. Let's put one there, and I think I'm going to put one at the bottom as well, down here like that. Okay, back with back to my dimensionals. I should have put these on before I put the bells on, but. Yeah, I know, lots of dimensionals. <laughs> if you want to know what to buy me for Christmas, you can buy me some dimensionals. They will never go to waste. I always make sure I have lots and lots of these. Okay. When you're finished the cars, can you stamp in red and outline in green? 
Yes, I can do that. I will see if I can find a scrap piece of paper over here. Okay, jingle. So we're doing this in red, Poppy Parade. Then we're going to stamp this one in the shade of spruce. Shade of spruce. think that's as lined up as uh, as well as the other one was. It's got ink all over me. <clears throat> and here are the two, Jean. So the red jumps out more. I think my green might be a little too thick because you can see the white dots on the on the red, but you don't they get kind of lost on the shade of spruce. So anyways, I hope that works for you, Jean. And you can see that. All right, so that is what all I have today. Thank you so much um, for joining me today move the stuff out of the way and here are the three cards we made all right thank you Maureen I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you liked them and thank you so much everyone for joining me today and you have a great rest of the week and hopefully I will see you here next Wednesday all right take care bye now <laughs>